Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I managed to take off the awful <laughs> bit of wallpaper that was on that wall. So today, I am on with doing some filling and I'm going to take the radiator cover off of the wall. The radiator cover is just screwed on with a couple of screws, I think, so that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm going to get the filling done this morning. Hopefully that should dry by this afternoon so I can get some painting done. I'm kind of hoping that this hallway is going to be a really quick project because I can't remember how long the living room took, but I feel like it took like a month. But it's quite a big room and we had the skirting boards to do as well. And yeah, there was a lot to do. Whereas I think that the hallway shouldn't be as bad. Although I do want to put paneling in there, but we'll see. So first things first, I think I'm going to take the radiator cover off. This is the lovely radiator cover. I can see why someone would like it, but I don't. I, I personally would rather have the space. I might see if we can get a smaller radiator to go here because it's a huge radiator. And especially if you're in the hallway, you don't really need it. First things first, let's get this radiator cover off and see what room we're working with. This is a lunch room. Look at that bad boy. I did not expect it to be that long. This is a completely different screw. This is something we found in quite a lot of the house. The screws and nails are all different from each other. <laughs> Just look at this. <laughs> so that's the first screw that I took out. And that's the second screw. Two completely different screws. Completely different lengths, different heads. <laughs> okay. Right, so this should now just come off, I think. Oh. Ugh. Well, that might be why they covered it up. Nice. What on earth have they done there? And why? What? <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to believe this. So this is where the radio cover is. And behind it, you pull it, it's just a big hole in the wall. There's no need for it. Like, what's it doing there? There's nothing in there. And the radiator cover didn't need it. Why is there just a huge hole in the wall for no reason? I'm really confused. I think I'm going to have to put some plasterboard in that because this has all been freshly plasterboarded so i don't know why they've randomly taken a gash out of it like i don't mind if there's a couple of extra things that we need to do like building the walls it was fine but it just took time out but when i find a massive hole in the wall it's like why is it there all right i'll best go see if i can find some plasterboard somewhere then first things first i am going to move the radiator cover out of the way though that's like the world's thinnest spider i thought it was just like moving dust I might be rethinking all my life choices. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. What on earth? I, I know that there's such thing as like, you know, you're not gonna see it, so why do it? But why? Just why? As you can see. Well, for starters, there's these big things in the wall where the screws were. So they need taken out. All this down here actually has no skirting board. This is the same skirting board that we've got in the bedroom now, so we can buy some. I'd rather not have to. We might have some left over, actually. You know, when you start something and you're like, oh yeah, this should be an easier one. And it's not an easier one. I mean, there definitely is more space now. Definitely more spacious. But that's taking it to a whole nother level of, I will just cover it up. I need to do something. I need to do something. I've just had a bit of a rant with my mum. <laughs> to be honest, it is not as bad as some things that we found in this house. It, it isn't as bad. It is just annoying. We can get it sorted. It's not impossible to sort. It's just something that I didn't think that I'd have to figure out. This... I might get filled today if we have some plasterboard. Because I think that we possibly do. If we don't, I might have to go buy one sheet of plasterboard to just fill it in. And then we can use that sheet of plasterboard if there's any other holes that they've left for us, which is very kind. I'm probably going to stick the plasterboard in just using no more nails. I'm not going to get all of my plasterboard adhesive out just to do that tiny little bit of plasterboard and then I'm probably going to just filler around it rather than jointing. So I'm going to put a little bit of plasterboard on it, put some filler over it and call that a day. This side however is looking a lot nicer. This is all going to get painted today hopefully. I'm hopefully going to get the whole wall done depending on how much time I have. These are the deeds to the house. They are getting taken down and they're going to get put in the living room, I think. And I'm doing up to here. So when I get to here, I'm finishing because then going up the stairs, we're going to have a different paint colour, I think, so that it kind of cuts the space off from each other to make it look a bit bigger. 
Right, I best go see if we've got some stuff. Becca's the saviour. <laughs> he told me where the plasterboard was, so I've got a piece here. I also couldn't find the no more nails, so I have just got some plasterboard adhesive. I don't know if it'll have been spoiled though, so I'm gonna try and make some of it up and see if it works. It's such a tiny space, it's like... <sighs> <laughs> Mum said that she wondered if they had a shelf there and had to like slot it in. I think whatever they did it was stupid. I'm gonna clean it up, cut that to size, get it slotted in and um, see if I can fix this wall. So I went downstairs to get the tape measure and the, it's a craft knife but there's another word for it so I'm just gonna say craft knife. I went downstairs to get those and I also found the no more nails. It does not look like there's a lot left. There's um, a very limited amount, but there might just be enough for me to be able to attach this. I'm kind of hoping I can use the No More Nails instead of having to uh, mix up some plasterboard adhesive, but let's give it a go. Downwards, most of it is about two and a half centimetres, short of 52 centimetres across. So I'm going to do it two and a half by 50 centimetres, uh, by 52 centimetres, and then just shave down any bits that need shaving down. First piece to try. May have to try another one eventually. Right, the moment of truth. Well, it fits ish. I don't want to force it in there because I won't get it back out again. There is not quite fitting. The rest of it is. But you can see like such random gaps. It's like that's still a really big gap underneath. I don't know whether to like take it down a bit and try to get it to mould to it a little bit more. Oh, all right, it needs cutting down a little bit anyway. So I actually managed to carve out a piece that fits pretty perfectly in there. Um, so there'll be very minimal filling have to do around the sides. The only bit that's a bit frustrating is I've had to kind of chip away at some of the wall behind it because it's not quite flat. When it's set in there, it will sand down and that's fine. Like the wall behind it isn't quite smooth. Like there's lumps and bumps in it. So I've had to like chip away at it a little bit, but it's looking good. Um, so I'm going to try this with no more nails and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't that's fine Um, because I can use the plasterboard adhesive if I need to. So let's give it a go. Well that has worked lovely. I literally just did a full strip of no more nails on it and it's stuck really nice. I am going to leave it for I think the curing time is 20 minutes. It looks so much better without a massive hole there. <laughs> that's one job done so that's something. Just need to tidy all the mess up now. Yay. <laughs> So I've just had some lunch and I've got some polyfiller out to do some filling. I also took the deeds down. That's not going to be in the way now. I'm going to try and do some filling. We'll see how it goes. I don't actually have a lot of filler left though. This is how much filler is left. So we'll see how we do. But I've taken the screws out of where the deeds were. So they need patching. The whole wall needs sanding as well. These all need doing. I did sand this bit down already. So this bit's all prepped already. I feel like the whole wall needs cleaning, like there's dust everywhere. So I might go get the dustpan and brush and kind of brush the wall down first as well. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered after that. Here's the wall that I've been working on. I've done all the filling. Done a bit of filling there. It's a bit tricky to see because I've sanded it now. Bit of filling there. This one, some of the filling came out. So I've refilled it and that one's getting done. I've done all of the filling on here and sanded it. So that's all good. They're all level now. And I've sanded nearly the entire wall. Just as a tip for um, if you're new to decorating and stuff. If you're painting a wall, sand it down first because then the paint will take to it easier. Because if you don't sand it down, it's likely that the paint won't adhere to it properly. A really good tip is sand in it because then it makes sure that it adheres to the wall properly. This whole wall has just been sanded by me. Apart from, from that shoe to the wall, but at the top, you can kind of tell to be honest, like you can see like here is kind of matte and then up here is more shiny, which is where I've not sanded yet. I am having a break. <laughs> I'm going to sit with a packet of crisps and a drink of water. It's half past two. I started at like 10 this morning. I mean, I, I did fill that hole in. 
So I'm not doing too bad, but I would like to start getting painting today, hopefully. I might get some of the cutting in done. I mean, I am only doing this wall and I thought I might do it at the top of the door as well. Like the top of our door there, that's doable to do. Should probably sand that down as well. It's just this wall that I'm gonna leave for another day because there's like the things that need like taking out and filling, the radiator needs dropping so we can get can paint behind that. I need the skirting barred up. This needs to get filled. This whole wall just needs to be a different day, I think. Not doing too bad, really. I've just cleaned all the walls down. I should have shown you the water, actually. It was so mucky, it was disgusting. But the wall is all prepped now. I've also prepped that little bit up there where I can also paint. And I've put a line on the wall for how high up the panelling is meant to be going. But I don't know if it's too high up. It's really hard to see on camera. The line's like here. And so down from there will be the panelling. Up from there will be just plain wall. But I don't know if it's too high. I'll roll with it for now. But I'm going to crack some paint open and start doing cutting in, which is quite exciting. Mm -hmm. 